Good afternoon. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, oh my God, that is paint on my forehead. Okay, I was... <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the Jelly Arts page. At least I hope I'm on the Jelly Arts page. It's been one of those days. Let me uh, click over here. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to my studio. I'm Tracy Weinzaffel. And um, wow, people are logging in. This is exciting, sorry. I guess I should have checked first in the mirror to see if I had any paint on my forehead and um, maybe put some makeup on. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Tracy Weinzaffel, and you are live in my studio. I want to thank Jelly Arts for this wonderful opportunity to come back. This is my third time here. Um... Can you hear me? Can you see me? It might take you refreshing if you can't see or hear me. Uh, okay, people, I get nervous when I start seeing. I just won't watch, but welcome. If you don't know me, I am an artist, and I do work for Jelly Arts. Good. Everybody can hear me and see me. And I am beyond thrilled to be here and yes five minutes before I was on I was painting my practice <laughs> so this is going to be create by the seat of your pants which actually fits so um, jelly arts makes awesome wonderful products I am happy to say that I work for the company and my job is I don't know what my title is Artist coordinator, I think. I coordinate all of our wonderful and amazing artists. So we have an awesome artist team that, quite honestly, I will uh, do this to them. And I bow to their great greatness because, quite honestly, I'm a real simple gal with real basic. Uh, I come from a real basic, simple place. So if you're looking for all these ideas that are going to blow you out of the water, um, I'm going to tell you to go to Jelly Arts Facebook page, go to their YouTube channel, and you're going to be blown away. You're going to make hair things. You're going to make um, things for your hair, buttons, you name it. There's mini albums, and they're just amazing. And if any of my team shows up, and I call them my team because I love them and I feel like they're something from me. Like, just, I love them. Okay. But if you're here, I run a website called Art Journaling with, that's my Facebook page. I own a website or run a website membership called Your Artful Journey. And we're going to give you lots of links today, so we'll, we'll throw things at you. You're at, you are in my studio. I'm going to move. And I'm going to also silence my other computer. Sorry, I didn't do that. I don't want you guys to hear my emails dinging. Okay. So if you um, are not familiar with me, my... Web, my Facebook page is Art Journaling with Tracy Weinzapfel. If you send me a friend request at the moment, you might not get a response because I think I maxed those people out. Um, but I really thank Jelly Arts for asking me to be back here and also to share with you because um, I'm all about creativity and sharing it and unleashing it and unharnessing it and, re and letting yourself just do it. Does that make sense? Okay. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Also, my um, our social media coordinator, Sarah, should be here. So hopefully she'll comment or start popping in because I'll need her to start giving out the links, which she will. And I'm going to do a giveaway. I didn't really discuss it with her, and hopefully she got my email. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make, I'm sorry, I'm going to be rude and say, are you here? Uh, where is she? There she is. That way I don't say I'm going to give uh, something away and she not know about it because she has to do that. 
Uh, I did get a comment. Holy cow, your uh, your studio is an artist's dream. The wall behind you is wonderful. Thank you. This, uh, there she is. She is there. Okay. So if you like paint, I'm probably your gal. Uh, yes, just so you know. Uh, we will do some sort of giveaway, and hopefully Sarah will pop in here and say hi. She's lovely, and I should have put my hair up, but I didn't. I was painting. I will talk to you. First off, I would like to know who, where, why, and what you're doing here. Maybe say where you're watching from, because that's really exciting. And um, today I'm going to talk to you about some of our products. And I can answer just about any question. And if I can't answer it, I have a support team who is Sarah. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you a little bit about jelly art so you do know. We, uh, we make jelly plates, printing plates, which makes mono printing really fun and attainable and part of your everyday creativity. Um, we, our website is jellyarts.com. The great thing is we are a woman, we, they, are a woman-owned business. And just like you feel super passionate about being create, creative, they're really, uh, the owner is a, is a friend of mine. I, I happen to work with her too. She's a wonderful boss. I think Sarah can attest to that. And it's not that being woman-owned is the best thing, but we're also USA-made, and we're very proud of that. And we're running a business just like in these trying times, and we are still shipping. So if you are looking to order, you can go to jellyarts.com, and we do have a discount code, which happens to be, there you go. Look at that. Before I even pop it out of my mouth, there is a discount code, and it happens to be Tracy W, capital T, capital W. Okay. So uh, Debbie just asked about cutting her jelly plate. I don't recommend it personal. Personally, I don't recommend it. However, we have a variety of sizes. So if you need a smaller plate, order a 5 by 7 For the, just the cost of a cup of coffee, you can keep that 8 by 10 for larger projects. So I'm going to tell you I don't recommend it. Uh, there you go. Did I get that question? If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. It's sometimes hard to get creative and live uh, at the same time, but... Sarah's here. She'll answer the questions and let's get started. So I want to tell you what I'm going to be using first or what I, I'm going to be focusing on. This kind of just gives you an idea. I'm going to make this easy. Um, I have two other videos that I did on um, for Facebook. I guess I should tell you what we're making. We, we have very large ones. So if you're an artist, I 16 by 20, I think is the largest. Don't quote me on that, but I have it. Okay. So today's idea came from this. This was supposed to be a thank you gift that was supposed to be mailed at Christmas time. But I haven't had time to mail it or finish it. So the whole premise of this book, and I'm going to tell you what it's made of, and I'm going to make it super simple for you. And yes, it's stitched together. Um, but this was me with a, just some simple backgrounds. We're only going to do the backgrounds. I don't have time to draw today. But we're going to focus on simple backgrounds. Uh, oh, we have lots of people taking my art journal challenge. That is this week as well. Uh, I, I'll give the link, but we're in day three. Oops, that's not the link. I'll give the link, but it is day three. So if you join, you would have to watch day one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing not great today. There we go. Somebody just mentioned the art journal challenge, and I'm all about challenging you guys. We just did day one, two, and three because it's Wednesday. We have four and five, but you can watch the replays. I'll just put that up for a second because I'm answering questions. So I'm going to do something like this, and I'm going to tell you how this is made, and it's really simple. But I'm going to tell you about Jelly Arts' card making kit. Oh, I did get permission to give something away. We're giving away three stencils today. Be sure to comment and you will be entered to win. We pick three random winners just for showing up here. That's all we do. We don't make it complicated and you don't have to guess my age. Okay? So this is our card making kit. And I left it. I meant to take a picture of this, but I'm sure I can get one. But this kit comes all in one. And it even comes in an awesome container. We have several kits. So I'm going to unbox this. And I'm going to use what's in here. Only I might not open the paint. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess I have this. I have another camera set up. Duh. 
Here we go. There we go. Now we got it. Uh, I guess I should have raised, let's see. Let's move all this. Sorry, I didn't, I was teaching this morning. We were doing the art journal challenge and it's awesome. Okay. So this is what comes in your kit. I only took one item out and I will tell you I did take one item out because I was looking for something. But it comes with instructions, which is awesome. It comes with this foam, which we're going to give it a gander today. But this is like a, a foam sheet to kind of make your own imp impressed stamps. We're going to give it a go. I just drew those with a ballpoint pen. It comes with your brayer. Hello. How awesome. I don't need to use this brayer because I have ones that are used and loved. So I'll just stick that. Oh, wait a minute. It comes with bubble wrap. Okay, I'm not going to stick that aside. Don't ever throw your bubble wrap away, people. It comes with Punchinella, which lots of people ask me about. Three primary colors in this kit, and they happen to be Chili Pepper, Cosmic Blue, and Sunbeam. And don't forget, with these colors, you can make every color of the rainbow. And then it comes with a plate. Again, it comes with more bubble wrap, and we're not going to throw that away. I will use this plate. We're just going to dig in. That's how your plate comes. Everything stores in here. All right. Oh, look at that. I love it. Storing your plate. Here's the information about storing your plate. Okay. The basics, everything you must know about uh, printing. This awesome fiber. Okay. More of that foam. And, of course, I don't have time to dig into everything we're doing today, but this kit is awesome. Um, deli paper, which is a whole nother class in itself. Sarah, if I get asked back, let's, uh, deli paper. Oh my gal. All right. And the cards. I'm not going to use these cards just because dumb me started drawing on one of them. I didn't realize it was a card. Look at me. But this kit is all boxed up for you. Now this is called a card making kit, but I'm going to rename this as uh, an art journal kit today. I, I have the plate matches the paper size. So if you're going to do this project, which I'm going to give you the easy instructions, and if you follow me on Facebook, I always try to share as well when I finish the project, I either time lapse it. So whatever we get done, don't get done. I'll give you an idea of what could be. Okay, I'm never going to leave you empty-handed. If you go, maybe Sarah can give my Facebook page. So this book that I'm creating, and I'm going to, for lack of a better term, because it's a mini art journal, is let's just say three of these. I don't know how much time we're going to have. I, I'm not going to keep you here all day. Uh, these three pages. Put together and all you need to do is book you can book bind it I did book binding with some thread but that's a whole nother lesson in itself it's not that difficult it's sewn in the middle like right here or take a sewing machine and just stitch along this edge <laughs> done okay now you have a book and if you're concerned with when you put three pieces either um, I recommend you do um, I don't know I don't care how many three but if you notice, the more you stack them up, the more they kind of uh, will go out. Just, you can, um, you can cut this edge. I, I'm super attention to detail, girl. So this kit all comes together. It all goes back and stores in here. So I will give you a hint. I have about, we have many different of these kits. So I have one of each of these. All right, so this is my concept. We're going to put that aside because we're not going to do anything that looks like that for now. And I'm not going to use everything that's in ki this kit. I This is about 42 more projects uh, to go. I don't need the instructions. I know how to use it. Um, I'll keep... I'll, I have the punchinelle and the bubble wrap out, but I'll keep this out. That's fun. I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to keep this out. But the rest I already have open, so I figured you don't need to reopen everything, Okay. And it's, again, it's stored in this awesome box to where I would save, because I'm big like this. I'm crazy like this. This top piece, I would actually just kind of fold, fold, or fold it or cut it or put it back in here so that when I need to reach my kit, I actually know what it is. Got it? There we go. 
<sighs> so who's ready to um, who's ready to get a little creative? What I did was I pre-cut, and I just did it out of um, I just did it out of uh, some already done watercolor cards. So I have three here. I don't know how much time we're gonna have. What is the thin paper called? Deli paper, I think. Sarah, maybe you could answer that. <laughs> maybe I don't know. All right, and now speaking of stencils, I pulled these out as well because, oh my goodness, we have the best stencils in the whole wide world. So we're going to give away three. Look at this. We're going to definitely use this one. I don't have time for everything, but this this is why I was saying if you have the 8x10 plate, here's an 8x10 stencil, so don't cut your plate up. I mean, does this not make you want to go crazy? Okay. And then I pulled out some copy paper. So that's what I have pulled out for today. Nothing earth-shattering. Maybe I'll unwrap this stencil. Yes, that is... I know that people are going, what? That's all you're doing? Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Uh, so if you if you don't know anything about me, this is my Jelly Arts art journal. Some of this I've done live in front of you, but this is where my inspiration comes from, okay? And then I grabbed a tool, and I grabbed a round plate. I don't know, and I grabbed that punchinella, of course, we already talked about it, comes in the kit. I don't know how much time we're going to have, but this is just regular copy paper. It, I love this. Amy just hit it on the head. One cannot have too many jelly plates. So we also make um, a kit, not a kit. Uh, I kind of find this necessary. We also make these three, but I'm, um, these are minis. So that's where I grabbed that from. All right, I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to get paint on my hands, not my head, I hope. And we are working on a relatively clean surface. So let's just go simple. Let's go basic 101, because I'm going to assume. You take your plate and just take this paint, this uh, piece of clear plastic off and keep that. Don't put it on. Don't put it anywhere you're not going to find it, like the ground. And I'm going to, for all, just say, just for, I don't need the bottom of it removed. I'm going to leave that. And I, I just picked out some medium body, or are they heavy body? What did I pick up? I picked out like three or four colors. I didn't want to go too crazy. Uh, I'm using a, like a medium body acrylic. This is like, oh, liquid text. Here's my brayer. We don't need a ton of paint, so I'm going to, if I feel like I, there we go, that first little blob. The copy paper is, this is just scrap paper. It's actually scrap paper from my work. Let's put all this aside so you get a clean view of what I'm doing. All right. Didn't mean to cover that with a ton. So here's your basic jelly printing. I mean, as basic as basic can be. Okay. I am going to let's talk about this because I so that's that punchinella that comes in there. Oh, I love the minis. I'll try to get to the minis. So if this copy paper is, I'm just using it to wipe my brayer off. And it doesn't really necessarily need to be wiped off, but I don't know why. So this plate is a little smaller than what I'm used to because I used to, I usually work in the 5x7 or the 8x10 is one of my favorites. We also have round, excuse me, I was using these paints just now, so I do have proof that I was. So this is one of those things where you kind of let your imagination roll. Look at me. I can't stay basic for two minutes. I can't. I was just going to do like a. All right. I'm going to lift that up and I'm going to move this over. Now my first print is this. And I'm going to. I don't even know if I cut these the right size, to be honest. So if I didn't, I can always cut them down. The book can be cut down. Oh, I I think I will do this different. I think what I'll do next time is just lay it down. My, um, my, uh, the paper I cut 
because I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> it's just a little bit bigger, but the good news is I don't care. Great. Done. Okay, so that's a print. Now, the other thing I can always do is you can always wipe up anything that's left on the plate and fill up that white space. So, oh, okay, so that's as easy as what we're going to do. And this can be reshaped, recut, re whatever. Okay, we're going to just keep going with this idea. I'm going to. I'm not even going to wipe the plate down in between. And this time I'll lay the card on it. I was just trying to figure out the size. I am not going to... Oops. You know what? I think I will lay this down. Oh, that fits nicely over it. All right. Now, no two prints are ever alike, which is what is so dang cool about this. Put that aside. And I'm just going to keep on printing. I'm going to try and switch up the colors every now and again. So let's just try and remotely, whoops, center that. Now, for those of you who have really uh, bad OCD, which I do, so I'm going to say I'm coming from a space of I get yous. This is all about loose, relaxed backgrounds. That's all I'm all about right now. Okay, so let's, let me, now if you want to change colors, it's really not difficult to do, because I want this book, I, I'm kind of a bright and vibrant kind of gal. This is just a piece of copy paper, and I'm just throwing it over the top to get whatever excess is off. I can use a baby wipe, but I don't like to clean as I'm crafting for obvious reasons. You know what would be nice is another color to, ooh, you know what I like? For a couple more colors. Let's go purple and red. That, that work I feel would be, and we'll do the bubble wrap. So that's what the copy paper is for. I just like to have it nearby and you can just, it just makes cleanup easier. And I use scrap paper. Okay. Of course, I'm jumbling everything in one location so I can't wipe off. Here we go. And, ooh, do we dare go red? Do I dare go red? And yes, we can fulfill orders to you, because I know that question has been posed. Where is that bubble wrap? So this is just bubble wrap. And cut it down. There we go. These dry pretty quick. Put this down. Good. Yes, I'm using, um, on this particular case, and I will give you a couple recommendations for paint. I find uh, really any acrylic paint works great. Here's another one. These are Deco Arts medium bodied acrylics. All right. There you go. And I will, when I am done with all said and done, now I definitely should be, now I'm going to leave that, and I'm just going to keep building on this because now I'm in love with the red that I just put away. I'm going to coat the whole thing with... I love red, I love blacks, I love turquoise, I love teals. Mm. Okay. You know what I had out too was gray. Where did I put that lovely gray? And I know this book is going to look kind of crazy. Where did I put that gray? Hello? You were right in front of me. Here it is. That is this deep gray color. Uh, where is... Okay. 
Okay, here's another stencil. I'm kind of in love with this one. Oh, look at that. I always forget. Maybe put the paint down after I get the stencil. On, but now I need some. Do not forget, do not worry about layering colors. And I'm going to just pick this up. You get to think about things in like the negative and the positive and what's going to be left. And then they always talk, you can get other prints. Okay, Oop. put that down in a dirty, Oops. put that down. And I'm not looking up because I'm noticing that the chat is going fast. I love it when the chat goes fast, but it makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, and I'm going to leave all of this down. Now I'm going to just go over this. And I'm going to, yes, the dirtier it gets, the happier I am. This is all about kind of releasing, and uh, where is that other stencil? Ooh, this one's brand new, so I haven't really used this stencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece of paper that I have right here. Think about this as I'm just going to remove, gently remove some of that. I'm going to lift this up. Place this down and believe it or not and I will share this when it all is said and done and I know it doesn't look like I have a congruent or a flowing type album right now you just kind of have to trust the process once I get this all put together you are going to you will probably be surprised here's another way to get that down firm Okay, see? Oh, okay. I love it. 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 Okay, I'm just going to keep building on this. I don't care what's left. Now, anything that adds texture, movement, here's a comb. Now, uh, I call them tool. I don't know what you want to call it. Don't forget about anything like that. See, I'm mixing it up, so I just picked up a new piece of paper. Because by the time this is all said and done, and I am going to, I'm so, I like to have everything done. I'm going to share this. Oh, I love it that I'm looking up and it's like watching from South Africa. So this is not really, look at that. See, and I'm picking up a trace of what was down previously. So let's keep going on this. Let's just soak it with yellow now. Maybe if I stopped adding everything in my working space here. I would have my room. Let's see what we can pick up. Got a question for you guys. Yeah, you guys, this is just um, somebody says get loose. This is the beginning. Oh, let me go. Sorry, every print just makes me smile and ways. And since I'm using, this is a, I think this is either mixed media or acrylic paper, or, uh, uh, watercolor paper. So it dries relatively quick. quick. And I am going to cut every one of these books, these pages. It's going to have like a very similar, oh, look at, I have a, this is one right here. This is one I did right before I got on. So I will, I actually have another page. All right. So let's put, let me clean this off. Let me show you. Oh, let me. So here I am. This is the past due notice to my customer. There you go. 
can wipe this off. That's how you clean it. This is a baby wipe. And I'm crazy. I like to clean off my work surface. So let's go with... Mm, I'm going to start dark. And what time do we have? I always kind of make it a goal to finish. This is just a charcoal that I'm using right here. Just haven't I used yet. Oh, here's another comb. Look at that. I found another tool. Okay, let's add this. Let's add... Oh, I will show you what to do with that, too. Do I have another piece of... Look at that. That's just another... Okay. Let's go bright and bold. I, I guess I'm... I was looking for magenta, and I went with, like, on fire red, but that's okay. And maybe a hint of something else. Oh, I did have a question. I really did have one. What do you want to see? <laughs> that's a loaded question. We want to know. What do you want to see? What interests you? Do you like to see projects? Do you like to see, look at this. I'm actually gonna run. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go for it. If I come back, if they ask me to come back, is there a product you like to have featured? Is there a question? I, I am always open to ideas. That's if they ask me to come back. If they don't ask me, oh my god, I'm sorry, but look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now we need to use that mini plate because that bad boy is just sitting here looking at me and saying, use me. Might as well ask. Ooh. Don't make mud, Tracy. But if you do, use it. I tend to get darker as I work. Okay, what's dry? What's not dry? Hold on. See? go. Oh, man alive. There we go. So that page is done. I'm almost done. I'm going to give this a quick wipe off. So baby wipes, baby oil. I've also heard, um, so I, I, that's what I use to clean off mine as a baby wipe. I actually don't obsess about my plates. I just don't. Uh, they work the same. Uh, this one happened to be a new one. So, uh, oh, I just heard, I'm looking down at ideas, and I'm going to go back and re-read re, re all the comments. But I do like to know what y'all like to see. Ooh, I even like my paper over here. Ooh. Clean you off a little bit. Sometimes I just want that as a background. Oh, I said I was going to do this. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to wipe it off in between. We have some cool shapes. I happen to be a circle person. I like circles. So, and I'm just wiping off the excess paint off to the side. Can't. That way I'm just lifting. I like to think of anything as like a household item that you have on hand. Could be texture, could be, 
And then once you see the book go together, in fact, I'm going to burn it through my um, sewing machine today. I'm going to try and finish it right when I'm done. And I'm looking for a blank space. We've almost got... I like little mini books. I like to write like little messages. I see I only have just so for me when I'm art journaling that's the basis of a flower that's a basis of something so every page in this book is going to be different Ooh, one I only have two more spots two more spots that's it that's all she wrote and then What do I have left? Now I want one of those stencils back. I'm kind of in love with this one. page after this and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to finish it and yes I'm going to finish it so don't think I don't like I'm not uh, the queen of the unfinished objects kind of gal fabric would be great oh I could do fabric Ooh, you know what oh god oh just sorry I get really excited I get really excited when now, something like this, see, I'm going to, I said I was going to use this, I'm going to line it up, we're going to hope it stays there. Okay, stay there please. Last print, no matter where we end up, even if it's a fail, there are no fails. This is, whoa, stay there, stay there, well, maybe not, okay, let's do this. Obviously didn't want to stay there, so I will make you stay there now. Last print. And then I'm going to... And I'm not obsessing about the borders and not being even, because there's going to be a fix for that. Oh. Hi. Look at that. Now you're going to relook at shaving your husband's head today. Say, look at that hair. It's going to make a perfect background. Kidding. All right. I could have taken the negative print. All right. <laughs> so I know that looks like I'm going to come back to you so I can show you this put together, but it's all wet. You should see my workspace. It looks like something blew up. I will show you my workspace. Okay. I'm back. Actually, I'll split screen you so you can kind of get an idea that you'll get. Okay. String is awesome. Any kind of string, awesome. But you're going to kind of look at now household items in a whole new way. That anything can be a background, number one. And I'm just going to show you. So I'm going to pull this out in front of you, or right here. So this was, uh, this was my little test. But I'm going to add this to the book, and I'm going to sew this book together. I'm going to probably bind it. Uh, I'll do what I did with the, um, if you look up book binding, not difficult. I happen to have bookbinding stuff. Who doesn't? Okay, so now here I'm, I'm not going to put these in the book yet, but you kind of get the idea you kind of get the idea that every page is going to be different and all I'm going to do is seam them up the middle and now I have this awesome and I would have done it with like three or four colors, but I tend to get a little nuts which is okay. It's okay to do that. All right. And the darker the background, I don't know, the better. Oh. oh, okay. So really all I need to do is put this whole book together while it's not wet, even though it's wet. 
I'm going to trim it up just a little bit, you know, because I can, and that way it's, it all lays flat and whatnot. And then I'm going to um, either hand stitch the middle or just run a sewing machine up the middle. Okay. I know that seems a little crazy. <laughs> There's people looking. Wait a minute. Whoops. Sarah texted me. Sarah, sorry. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to look at me. I'm taking a photo of this chaos. Everything cleans up super simple. I never really uh, go crazy about my brayers. I just wipe them off on the copy paper. And then, of course, I keep the uh, jelly plate clean. And then I put this back over the top. Oh, I forgot the foam. Okay, here's what the foam's for. <laughs> Why did I even do this? So what you need to do... The foam, you can cut this out, but it's when you use a ballpoint pen or like a round tip, it actually makes an indentation. So you can use this to make your own like little textures and stamps. That's what that is for. That's what comes in there. <sighs> for those of you who have never tuned in to me before, this is exactly what the creating is about. And I try to encourage people to kind of let it go. And also to be mindful that we're talking about like paper here. Many of us buy supplies and save them for a rainy day. Well, the rainy day is here, and I really do encourage you to take Jelly Arts. The whole idea behind it is creativity, so that's what I stand for. It's contagious. <laughs> and um, on my art journaling page, I share this all the time. This, is what I, this book is actually going to be similar to what I shared here. It can be done, this type of a book can be done in minutes. Like I did, usually I do about 10 backgrounds in, in a, what did I say? I don't remember, an hour? Is that what it is? But then this is what the drawings become. Oh, okay, Jean said this is her first time here. Yes, if you've never seen me, it's kind of like get a seatbelt and be ready for a ride. <laughs> so... This is, rainy day is now. I mean, there's no better time. So if you're wondering what I do with the pages and that book that I just shared too, that is for my friend Norma. Norma, if you're watching, this was your thank you gift. This is how I share my art to people. This fits in an envelope. And um, in fact, I have envelopes so you can make the envelopes match. And you see every page is different. That's why I'm not worrying about what the background is. And, um, and that's why every page being different is okay. <laughs> you guys. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. So that's why I know this looks like a little bit of a hot mess right now, but I am going to put it together. And I am going to look back at all of your ideas to see what it is you guys want to see either myself do or somebody else do. Maybe you'll never want this back again. <laughs> oh, and yes, uh, Sarah just gave the link. I do talk about art journaling. That's my love because it's my safe space to create. But as you can, oh, you can't see it. But as you can see, um, every place is a safe space to create. <laughs> Somebody needs a small jean jacket, I'm your gal. Um, but my art journal is where I come up with concepts and drawings. And, well, somebody said fabric, and I was thinking, oh, my God, I'm making a quilt. I should be doing the jelly arts backgrounds. Yeah. So uh, for those of you, I'm, I'm just all about letting it go and using. And I love working and working with companies that support that whole creative wild process. And exactly what I showed you is pretty much what comes in this kit. Only I didn't want to tear my kit apart because I use everything. And you can use just about any, oh, acrylic paints. Oh, yeah. Apron. Forgot to put my Jelly Arts apron on, too. Okay. What did I use on the jacket? Uh, I used fabric paints. That was me just drawing. My daughter would love that. Well, it's a size junior or something. It doesn't fit me, I'll tell you that much. Um, the stencils come in 8x10 and 5x7, and I think I showed that they come in a number of awesome shapes and usable sizes. 
And then I'll let y'all go because, oh, we only, we didn't do, I must have started early. Sorry, Sarah. I think that's, I started early. So, oh, this right here. For those of you who know I draw flowers, hello, best base right here for flowers in the world. Okay, I guess we're going to give away three stencils, random stencils. This was what I was using in the 5x7. Oh, my God. Look at this. Okay. Right now, it looks like a bomb went off in my office. Uh, for those of you who are wondering as well, I do run a website called Your Artful Journey, and I believe Sarah gave you the freebie link, but I'm also going to have information on my membership coming up soon uh, for that. And it's this is everything I do. I break everything down in bite-sized pieces. Now, I believe you are thinking, holy moly, she went so fast. He did. And in about 38 minutes, we got this done. I'm going to set up my camera. It's set up. And I'm going to videotape the remaining part of this process as much as I can, whether I put it under the sewing machine or I stitch it. But I will uh, once it's dry. And then that way you can kind of see the book before I draw in it, if that uh, is helpful to you. So you probably want to check back on my Facebook page because I throw everything into YouTube. And this video is available. You can watch it here on Jelly Arts Facebook page and you can watch it on my YouTube channel. Anybody have a cigarette? <laughs> I don't smoke. Total bad joke. I do not smoke. And for my mother who's going to see this on YouTube tomorrow morning when she wakes up, I don't smoke. I never smoke. And mom, I'm still fine. I haven't lost my mind. Okay, you guys, um, I thank you for joining me from the bottom of my heart. If you've never seen me before, I apologize for the craziness. It's just how I exist in the world. And um, Jelly Arts, thank you for being supportive of us creative beings. If there is anything I love to do, and that's talk about what I'm passionate about, this is why I get paint on my Okay, I definitely will, I really didn't look at the viewership, and wow, you guys, I love the book idea. So don't forget, you can create this out of paper and fold it. You, I, all of you, I know a lot of you crafters have every tool in the world that basically, if you like put it in some contraption, it cuts it and folds it, and then all of a sudden, it's like done for you. Is there not a tool for everything? I'm going to go to my old-fashioned cutter, cut this, throw it through my sewing machine. Yeah, this, um, I did get a good response. Best kind of creating is by the seat of my pants. So if you um, have any questions, and stay tuned for more from Jelly Arts. They gave, um, we, we talked about a real fun future idea coming up, so... Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, I did make you smile. Sarah, thank you for um, joining in. And I'm sorry I started early. I was, I guess, over anxious. And now I get to go have lunch. Uh, thank you so much. Do not forget to go over to Jelly Arts. Give them some love. Leave them a comment. We, we, we look at every single comment. Dorothy said, first time seeing your art, and it was so fun. Dorothy needs a cigarette now, too. Okay, one last thing before I go, because I'm all about art journaling, and then I promise I'm gone. Tonight on Facebook, uh, that's not me. Tonight on Facebook, I will be live uh, in this, my studio. This will be my third time live. I promise I'll never do this again. And... Um, I'm going to talk about my art journaling from day one, and I'm going to expose myself from day one. So if you want to join me and see where art journaling has taken me and where I am, <laughs> it's not very much further, 
then I welcome you to join my Facebook page tonight at 5.30 Standard Pacific Time, 8.30 Eastern Time. And I have not looked through the books. I just got the box down, and um, I will be there to answer any questions and talk about my various techniques and where my artful journey has taken me. Goodbye. Thank you, Jelly Arts. I will see you guys all soon, and hopefully Jelly Arts will ask me back. Have a great day, guys.